we go about our godliness, our oneness with each other, our oneness with God, God oneness with us, God's mind available to us to live out in this world and know that God gets us to anything, meets our needs. After all, he's our employer and he's a good employer and God needs to be able to have us survive in order to demonstrate the love of God within us. And so he speaks now, and I'm going to relay it to you, of the soul and its relationship to your godliness. And here's more quotes from the Footlighter of Notes Divines. And if you're going to look these things up fine, I give you the first line. It's quartered in rooms majestic. Type it in and up pops the verse that it's within. I'm going to read the whole thing. It's only three or four lines. And then back up and go at it individually. Quartered in rooms majestic. Place where it lives. Quartered in rooms majestic, renounced of worldly pursuits, engaged in holy work, there sits the soul of the enamored. This is God's statement about the real you, your soul. Now, let's look at the individual points that are being made here. Quartered in rooms majestic. Well, what do you think it is? What's your own thoughts on it? Quartered in rooms majestic. It's a living circumstance. With great happiness and fulfillment quartered in rooms, majestic, majestic. Oh, how hard it is with our human state to even absorb that, that kind of a thought. Quartered in rooms, majestic. Renounced of worldly pursuits. If we are living for God, we have been able to abandon our pursuits of an identity in a human world of nothingness and no identity, of no worth, of nothing that's lasting, of no joy and peace that's dependable. None of it is there. Renounce the worldly pursuits. We've seen through it all. We've seen through it all. And once we see it, automatically, once we abandon this human state, you wind up with the awareness of being quartered in rooms majestic. And what does it? You're now engaged in holy work. What's your holy work? There's only one thing that I ever want to do. Once I reach this stage of experiencing God with inside me was to help other people get there. I know the misery of this world, the agony of my own human state, the terrible loneliness, self-doubt, feeling of weakness, of unworthiness, believing that I haven't got it, and other people look so strong in comparison with me, and wanting other people to affirm me, to tell me that I'm worth, that I've got it, and it's so unstable. And it can't exist because everybody else has got the same problem and they're all concerned with themselves. And so here we are, little islands of feeling unworthy, walking around, bumping in with other islands of unworthiness in the world, unable to find legitimate affirmation of our worth. But when we feel the God within us all we want to do is be engaged in holy work to be able to give away, to be open, to let other people express where they're at. 
and to be able to respond to them from the godliness within us that supports them in their own search for the healing and for recovering the godliness within them. And God ended up quartered in holy rooms majestic, renounced of worldly pursuits, engaged in holy work. There sits the soul of the enamored, E-N-A-M-O-R-E-D, sits the soul of the loved, that you're feeling God's love of yourself. And you are feeling that as yourself, giving it away. That's the great treasure, the greater treasure. Well, I, maybe it's unfair to say it that way, because what a treasure it is to feel God's love of you. And what a greater pleasure to be able to give it away, to receive the love of God. Yes, it's a treasure. But what a treasure it is when you're involved in activities in which you're giving it away, in which you see other people as the holy children of God, that you know that this is so, and that you now are helping them overcome the misery of the human state and the suffering of that human state. And you're enamored. The feeling of that love in you, that enamored feeling, comes to be your looking upon others as enamored because you recognize they're one with you. That's all they are, is they're one with you. And if they're one with you, you love them as yourself because you feel the love of yourself and you know it's one with others and therefore you know that they themselves are just like you and there is nothing else that they are except a lost being searching themselves for an answer to the twistedness of the human mind in the world and your enamored self that self that God created you and loves is now yours to be able to give away. Treasure, 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 dear people. Treasure, treasure, treasure. No more worries and upsets. All you have is the revelation that you bring to others that the life in God is pure love and joy. That's what you're bringing. That's what your soul knows, and you're going to want to cover it. Hope it's helpful for you.